to the country of the Gerasenes. And when Jesus stepped out of the boat, immediately, a man with an unclean spirit met him from out of the tombs. For he lived among the tombs, and no one could restrain him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had often been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains he wrenched apart, and the shackles he broke into pieces, and no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day, among the tombs and on the mountains, he was howling and bruising himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus? Son of the Most High God, I adjure you, my God, do not torment me. For Jesus had said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. <laughs> Jesus then said to him, Nothing. He then begged Jesus not to send them out of the country. Well, there on the hillside, a great herd of swine was feeding. So the unclean spirits asked Jesus, send us into the swine. Let us enter them. And Jesus gave them permission. The unclean spirits came out of the man and entered into the swine. And the herd, numbering about 2,000, rushed down the steep bank into the lake. And they were drowned in the lake. The swine heads ran away and told it in the city and in the country. And the people came out to see what it was that had happened. They came to Jesus, and when they saw the demoniac sitting there, fully clothed, and in his right mind, the very man who had been possessed by the legion, they were afraid. The people who saw what had happened to the demoniac and to the swine reported it. Then the people began to beg Jesus to leave their neighborhood. As Jesus was stepping into the boat, the man who had been possessed by the demons, begged him to be with him. But Jesus refused and said, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy the Lord has shown you. Then he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed. The word of God for the people of God.